I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. What would the world be like without black inventors? Lewis Howard Latimer, born September 4, 1848, was an African-American inventor and patent draftsman for the light bulb and telephone. Born in Chelsea, Massachusetts, he was the youngest of four children of Rebecca and George Latimer. His father was a slave in Virginia. He ran away to freedom to Boston, Massachusetts in October 1842, along with his wife, Rebecca, who had been the slave of another man. Their captives were so incensed that they appeared in Boston to take them back to Virginia. It became a noted case in the movement for the abolition of slavery, gaining the involvement of such abolitionists as William Lord Garrison. Eventually, funds were raised to pay the captives $400 for the freedom of George Lattimer and his wife, Rebecca. At the age of 15, Lewis joined the U.S. Navy on September 16, 1863 and served as a landsman on the USS Massoite. After receiving an honorable discharge from the Navy, on July 3, 1865, he gained employment as an office worker with a patent law firm. He earned a salary of $3 per week. There he learned to use a set square ruler and other tools. Later, after his employer recognized his talent for sketching patent drawings, Latimer was promoted to the position of head craftsman earning $20 a week by 1872. In 1873, he married Mary Wilson Lewis in Fall River, Massachusetts. From this union, the couple had two daughters, Emma Jeanette and Louise Rebecca. Incidentally, Emma Jeanette married Gerald Fitzhartsburg Norman, the first black person hired as a high school teacher in the New York City public school system. In 1881, Lattimore, along with Joseph Nichols, invented a light bulb with a carbon filament, an improvement on Thomas Edison's original paper filament, which would burn out quickly. And he sold the patent to the United States Electric Company in 1881. Lattimore's deep knowledge of both patents and electrical engineering made Lattimore an indispensable partner to Edison as he promoted and defended the light bulb design. In 1890, Lattimore published a book entitled Incondensed Electric Lighting, a practical description of the Edison system. The improvements that Lattimore made to the light bulb proved to be much more efficient and it burned a lot longer than the ones that were previously created. Basically, his were the best. In fact, his improvements are still in use to this day. The Edison Electric Light Company in New York City hired Lattimore in 1884 as a draftsman and an expert witness in patent litigation on electric lights. He also supervised the installation of public electric lights throughout New York, Philadelphia, Montreal, and London.
and in 1911, he became a patent consultant to law firms, where he worked until 1922. Many of us know about Louis Lattimore's contribution to the light bulb, but do we also know that he made a significant contribution to the telephone? That's right, folks. He worked with Alexander Graham Bell on the patent for a telephone. You see, Lattimore's talents were well matched to the post-Civil War period, which saw a large number of scientific and engineering breakthroughs. He was directly involved with one of these inventions, the telephone. Working with Alexander Graham Bell helped draft the patent for Bell's design for the telephone. He was also involved in the field of incandescent lighting, a particularly competitive field working with Harold Maxim and Thomas Edison. Another great invention by this great inventor was an improved toilet system for railroad cars called the Water Closet for Railroads, patent in the year 1874. If you've ever gone to a toilet on a train, well folks, thanks Louis Lattimore for his improvements to that device. For 25 years, from 1903 until his death in 1928, Lewis Howard Latimer lived with his family in a home on Holly Avenue in what is known as East Flushing section of Queens, New York. Approximately 60 years after his death, his home was moved from Holly Avenue to 137th Street in Flushing, Queens, which is about one and one quarter mile north of its original location. His house has been designated a landmark. Mr. Louis Latimer is another great example of black excellence in the world of inventions. Just imagine folks, he made light much better than what was in existence at that time. And it's because of him, we are able to use the light bulbs that we use today, not only to light our homes, but to light the world. Thank you, Mr. Lattimore, for your great contribution to this society and indeed to this planet. the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thou art rich.